Good morning. This is your Smarter Heart University, your institution for higher heart learning without the headache. I'm Dr. Scott, as always, along always is my co-host, Dr. Robert Kaiser, my cardiology partner. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Scott. Um, today, we get to discuss one of my favorite topics. There is no such thing as borderline diabetes. Um, well, we had some fun last week with the uh, phone calls, and... Um, this week, we're going to be uh, discussing the medical term metabolic syndrome. And as I always tell my patients, that's a bad word. It doesn't really make much sense. They don't like to hear it. We call it the Big Mac attack. And believe it or not, it is taking over the entire planet. So our popular question, as we always do at Smarter Heart University, is I eat right and I exercise regularly, so how come I can't lose weight? Well, so our case in point to answer this question is simple. So Dan is 34 years old, and he's a patrol officer, and he wants to advance to the rank of detective. So he needs a physical exam that he has to pass as well as a written exam. Well, here's Dan's problem. He weighs 240 pounds, and he's only 5'10". His waist is 44 inches. His blood pressure is 150 over 90, and his blood tests are the following. His triglycerides, those are all your sugars and the starches, was 270. Normal is less than 150. His good cholesterol, uh, those are the shovels that dig out the dirt, which is your bad cholesterol. We're going to talk about that a lot during this show. Is uh, was only 30. Normal should be at least greater than 40. Um, and his fasting sugar was 114. And really normal blood sugar these days is considered uh, uh, to be less than 100. So Dan has big Mac attack. Well, you know the sandwich, folks. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Well, think about metabolic syndrome as a cluster of risk factors, and that's your sandwich. So you have these way, way, way before you get, dare I say, the D word, diabetes. And as you're going to see throughout this show, this serves as a, as a, as a marker. It serves as a warning. It serves as an all-points bulletin to take control of your life and, pre pre and, and prevent bad things from happening. So on to the Big Mac scenario for Dan. Well, his bread, the, triglyc the bread in this case is his triglycerides being greater than 150 and his fasting sugar gre being greater than 100. The cheese is his good cholesterol being less than 40 for him, but, but also in women, it, anything less than 50 is considered to be uh, less than normal. The meat is his waistline, and in women, it should be uh, greater than 30, uh, greater than 35 is, a, is a, a bad sign, and in men, greater than 40, so Dan was 44. And the special sauce, let's not, uh, uh, let's not uh, uh, forget the special sauce, which really isn't so special, uh, is your blood pressure. It's less than 130 over 85. So to get the Big Mac attack or this metabolic syndrome, you need three. Count them three factors to have risk. And by the way, friends, these clustering of factors, these signs, these what you see on your exam and what you see in the blood work has been around and, and has been told to us as being risk factors since the 1920s. They coined the term metabolic syndrome in the 1980s to kind of talk about how it is from an endocrine standpoint because, really, it does lead to diabetes, as we will talk about. So how do we reverse this? Well, folks, the simple answer is what's left when you remove all of the bad things from the, san from the uh, sandwich? The salad, the lettuce, the pickles, the onions. So in a simple way, that's how we reverse it. metabolic syndrome or the Big Mac attack. So what's your take on this? I think it, metabolic syndrome is uh, an epidemic in the United States, if not the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. It gets to the, the heart of where we're in the United States, uh, this idea that obesity is – uh, the number one uh, problem with, uh, what, more than 60% of our population uh, being obese and, and getting to the heart of, of childhood obesity and, um, and the fact that this syndrome is a precursor for the development of what really ends up being the 
killer is the the vascular disease that goes with exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. You know, you know, we're going to talk about this later on uh, about how we want to get get it at, at the earliest stages, and that's really our kids. And you know, as we're parents, and we just we were talking about it earlier uh, on our way down here about how terrible you know nutrition is in the school systems. So we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But uh, Dr. Kaiser brings up the point: it's not that simple to reverse, folks. Seventy five percent of the world has this. 50 million in the United States have this, and about two-thirds of us, 60 million Americans, are considered to be overweight right now. And it's only going to grow, and the projection by the year 2050 for diabetes is in like the 30 million category. Um, So at present, this is the scary part, at present, there's a 40% lifetime risk of any child being born in the United States to develop these characteristics of metabolic syndrome, the Big Mac attack, or even full-blown diabetes, 40%. It's scary. We don't want our kids. You don't want yours. I don't want mine. So you have to check yourself. You know, you know, check yourself pronto. Uh, look at the factors that we just said. If you have three out of five, yes, you, you have five times the increased risk of developing diabetes and three times the risk of developing vascular disease, not just heart disease, as Dr. Kaiser was saying. So how do we get metabolic syndrome, and why is this a better term than the so-called you have borderline diabetes, so watch it or else mentality? Because that's what we're here to talk about, folks, today. Um, The center of the universe is the size of your gut. The larger it gets... The more factors, certain factors are produced to cause you to become resistant to your own insulin. That's the factor that's produced by your pancreas that's responsible for lowering your sugar levels back to normal when you eat, when you're in stress mode, etc., etc., Um, Once you get insulin resistance, it's the key to all of the bad things. It leads to high blood pressure. It leads to this abnormal quality of cholesterol with the high triglycerides and the low uh, good cholesterol. And this mud, as we will refer to a couple times during this uh, lecture, um, the mud of your bad cholesterol, abnormal bad cholesterol quality. It leads to the blood becoming more thick and clotting more. And it leads to your blood being on fire, the so-called inflammation. And the key to all of this is we develop the insulin resistance and all the while the blood pressure and the cholesterol and, and, and all of this is going on. The linings of your arteries are filling with plaque. They're starting, you're starting to develop vascular disease. So that's really the bottom line, Dr. Kaiser, is, is what, you, just what you said. The key to this is prevent, prevent, prevent. It is. It is. Uh, we we're talking about a process, and we're gonna we're, the, our future segments are gonna talk about whether or not this metabolic syndrome, it's a nomenclature thing. It's what are we naming it? The fact is, and I don't think there's any argument about the, that these these criteria that you've talked about. If you have three of them, you have this metabolic syndrome or whatever you want to name it, and leads to increased risk in the future. Yeah, you feel fine now. But it's not going to be that way forever. And if you address it now, as we'll talk about later, um, the chances are that you hopefully will prevent that heart attack or that stroke or that blockage somewhere else in your body. You can pay now or you can pay later, right? So, you know, I mean, that really is the issue of of this whole talk today. Um, And we'll say it a couple times. Uh, The metabolic syndrome is sweeping the world. We've had it for a long time. It's been around for a long time, and, it, and it's just kind of been the carpet's been lifted up, and the dust's been kind of swept under, and said, "Nah, it, you know, just do your thing. You take your pills for this, and you lose some weight and exercise." But we're trying to get to a point where we spread the word, you know, a very, very early prevention, and that is a difference. And at the very end, we're going to talk about you know, some new, new ways to think about metabolic syndrome. So you have to stay tuned till the very end. But what next segment is, is going to be great because we're going to talk about two newly discovered systems, if you will, that uh, lead to metabolic syndrome, that lead to the weight gain, that lead to all the cholesterol abnormalities, and, of course, lead to vascular disease. So stay tuned to Your Smarter Heart University. We'll be right back on AM 970, The Apple. More. Di- 